Hello everyone, it is I, DDD Tour. I'm giving another unboxing video. This time it's a League of Legends La La Rona Morgana figure, also known as Ghost Bride Morgana. This figure is very rare. You don't see very, very many people with it, and you don't see many, very many people selling it. So I'm very fortunate to have grabbed a copy for myself. A little bit about this figure. It is a prize given at the tournament in Mexico City in, on August 3rd, 2013. Um, the Latin America North versus the Latin America South. Uh, if you guys recall, Ghost Brad Morgana was a server skin, technically, to re celebrate the release of the Latin America server, which was new around that time. So they made this, and they have this figure, and not many people know about it, and not many people have it. So I'm going to open it. Uh, the listing that I got it for, I will not say, but the person did say that this bo box has been opened before, but only to take pictures. So hopefully it's as new as they claim. We'll find out. Let's get into it. So this right here is the plastic that you see um, co uh, keeping her safe. We'll put that over here. There's not really any pieces besides the actual figure which is already assembled. Um, the back of the box is a little story I'm supposing on Morgana's skin. It's all in Spanish though so I can't really read it. The left side is her splash art, as well as the right side. And the bottom is some copyright information, which lets you know that this is an, a real official figure. So she is held at the waist to the plastic, and I will unwrap that now. And here is the figure itself, unboxed. Uh, there's no assembly required and everything's pre-painted and great looking. Everything is detailed. Everything from her reaper wings to her dress, which I absolutely love. I love the colors in her hands and the tips of the scythe. Even her dress changes color. I was a little worried about this fingernail right here. I thought it was bent out of shape, but it looks like it's not. Back of her has a wedding veil. Her dress is very tattered. Very true to the splash art and the skin in game. Noticeably, the Reaper's eyes are also blue. If you could see that. The bottom of her of the statue is clear. And it has her League of Legends logo, Riot Games, as well as the Pure Arts. 2013 Riot Games Incorporated. The statue itself stands about five and a half to six inches tall. I'm not so sure about the height specifically, but I compared it to a personal ruler and it was about that much. Overall weight, I'd say under a pound, under half a pound. It's very, very light. Overall, a great figure that you won't find anywhere else. Now let's put it on display. I'll have her up here next to my, my Ari figure. Maybe move, them, move some stuff around. She's considerably shorter than my other figures, but that's great. That's okay. I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video of Ghost Bride Morgana, La Llorona, uh, Morgana skin. Again, if you want one of these for yourself, uh, good luck finding one. There's not many people who sell them, and even then there's not many people who sell them under $300, so it's a very rare find. Uh, I do expect, maybe, League of Legends, to officially remake this figure, for example, they've been doing figures in their merchandise store. They've done Thresh and they've done Ziggs, and most recently they've done Twisted Fate from a Twist of Fate cinematic. So you never know, they could be redoing this and showing it out there, or they might not. There's other figures that they don't uh, have around for people is uh, Rise, Trindomir, and Pulsefire Ezreal. And I know there's a bunch of bootleg ones, including Heartseeker Vane, Mechakazi. And this Ari Nendoroid right over here is bootleg. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy. If you like what you see, you can subscribe. Um, I don't really do my, many unboxing videos for anime figures or anything anime-related, really. I am mainly a J-Core DJ and Hardcore DJ, so there's that. Uh, thank you for tuning in.